So one of the challenges uh, we've mentioned about, you know, open data and transparency is that actually in terms of open data right now for Malaysia, we don't have much uh, and we don't have enough data um, to make decisions in a lot of key um, areas. Um, so it makes it hard to make effective policy and it's not, and the COVID situation now is actually making things even clearer. Uh, I mean, it's actually showing just how difficult this problem is. Uh, if we're going to do welfare aid, uh, how do we get it to the different communities? Um, what happens if they don't have income? Um, is there enough data from the taxation department? Uh, what happens if they're undocumented uh, migrants? What happens if they're unemployed? Uh, where are they? These are the sort of things now that make it even more important um, on why we need to have, um, you know, open data and also collaboration because um, data is not enough within specific groups. Um, so one of the things that we hope um, to move forward um, um, af uh, from after the seminar is actually one is to share and make it uh, easily accessible what are the different initiatives um, in Malaysia? Uh, but as we now have learned that, uh, what are also the initiatives internationally um, when we participate in the Open Government Partnership um, into solving these solutions? So um, I'm not gonna go through every one of them because we will be sharing uh, more detailed documents um, and a website, uh, but uh, just to have a quick overview of just some of them. Uh, we do actually have a digital government services in Malaysia. Um, it's called My Government um, to provide um, a lot of the things that we need um, in terms of access to government services um, on online. Uh, we do have a public sector open data initiative. Um, ben has just shared already, and as well as Taryn, that uh, there have been efforts already in terms of um, making procurement um, more transparent, both at the federal and state level. Um, there are several initiatives um, for working on health and data research, um, both within the medical uh, research community uh, for government, uh, but also in the academic field. Um, there are efforts in terms of providing digital education. Um, other civil partners, uh, um, such as uh, C4 um, and the Center for Independent Journalism, along with the Legal um, Services um, Department, um, are working on an FOI enactment. Uh, so that was one of the issues um, on Malaysia not being able to uh, be uh, eligible as the OGB uh, criteria. Um, and then there's also other civil society efforts in terms of improving asset declaration. Uh, here's some more examples in terms of you know the uh, opportunities for collaboration um, and where. Um, where the key um, uh, participants will be. So definitely will be our elected representatives. Um, so I've actually here given an example of a parliament. So having um, legislative data and parliamentary replies uh, and the work of our parliamentarians and legislators at state. These sort of collaborations are now even more important um, in terms of when um, for COVID. Um, the national action plan is actually for two years. Um, and part of the collaboration um, internationally that's going on for open data right now is to collaborate on what are the key data sets that we need to make open um, in order to deliver public services better. 